why help management everyone else? Why not religion, religious center, why not the hospital, why not the school? There is no special reason for the institute. But the only thing is that even after 10 or 12 years, this happens to the only institute of kind in this country, it's, which uh, deals only with population and help the management issues. And probably only one of its kind in, in this uh, region. Thank you, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I think today we have programmed to be together, uh, me and uh, His Excellency the U.S. Minister. We began the day at 8 o'clock together, and uh, I'm sure we would uh, finish the day after dinner together. This institute uh, is a dream come true, the dream of family and entrepreneur family look to something to commemorate the memory of the founder, Mr. Prabhupada Aramal. And oddly enough, the institute does not carry his name. It is called Indian Institute of Health Management Research and not Prabhupada Aramal Institute of Health Management Research. It is also an indication of the institute which discharges the social obligation of the entrepreneur who in his lifetime created a transport empire <coughs> unparalleled in entire Southeast Asia. Uh, starting from a small place, uh, a small village, Doruka, which uh, there is now today in Nanga, which now today there is in the Indian family. Uh, he built up this phenomenon after his death, Dr. Ashoka Rwal, was looking for, looking around, meeting some persons for ideas to what should be done as a common holiday. But its uh, growth has been phenomenal. Dr. Ashok Garwal has been almost putting an untiring efforts in the institute, and so did the directors of the institute. One ex director is present here, Dr. Uh, Ram Shushama, uh, the one director. And members of the Tony Council is also members of the Board of Trustees, there is one exception. Uh, today it ranks uh, as the premier institute of New York has been the idea of our growth. Dr. Arwal did not state it so clearly. The question which was posed, which is posed to him, which uh, was also posed to those persons who discuss this at the time and publish the institute that what should be commemorating what life. And uh, Dr. Adhavan and many of us went that an industrial house should not duplicate efforts of the state government or the government in general, state government or the central government because the central or the governments are large in size and they have tremendous capacity to put resources and even waste those resources. And uh, an interested house wishes to commemorate or do something, then it should invest money and effort in building up individuals <coughs> or more specifically in uh, doing human resource development. And since Dr. Agarwal was interested in the health area, so obvious thing putting, putting these two together was to raise an institute of health management because uh, this is one area when health sector uh, badly needed at that time and it needs badly even today. And so the institute grew up as Institute of Health Management and Research. And today it occupies a in place. Uh, Your Excellency, we are, when I say we are, I'm not forgetting my past and the work almost as a founder trustee. We are deeply honored by your visit. And you made a pretty forthright and uh, very perceptive in your observations which you made, not only in the, during the lunch time in CIA sponsored lunch, but even before and the meeting with the Chief Minister. It is always it is always a delight to have you amidst us. Uh, this is I think third or fourth visit. And each visit uh, when it is over, we look forward to another visit by you. Today you came with a big delegation, it was an industry. And made a very useful interaction uh, first at the chief minister level, 
then at the, another meeting presided over by the Chief Minister, uh, and then the CIA session, and uh, it is a fitting finale that you are winding up your official engagement today with the visit to this institute and to commemorate memory <coughs> of the living region. We could honor Dr. Mr. Pramodaya as well when he was alive. The institute uh, started thereafter. Uh, we correcting that mistake and uh, uh, Anderson's memory, uh, the living, almost the living region, and therefore this library has been rightly dedicated to his memory. A phenomenal work is done. It's a path breaking uh, work which he done in the field of preventive health, eradication of smallpox, or immunization. And the world at large is indebted to the spirit of this person who cutting across geographical boundaries, faith concern for the suffering in far off lands. And he succeeded uh, in support from governments, support from philanthropists, <coughs> support from uh, <coughs> voluntary organizations and support from people because what he did touched the code of uh, everyone because there was a suffering at large and so it's a fitting uh, tribute which institute is paying to uh, Dr. B. Anderson with whom I also had the privilege of uh, having many discussions in the meeting of the Board of Governors or meeting of the uh, trustees. Uh, that's his first love and uh